We also need a radical and credible plan to end insecurity at work. So let's start with the obvious. Zero hours contracts. Don't buy this nonsense about how many workers really like them. You know, I've got mates who are working on zero hours contracts. They don't do it because they prefer it. They do it because they have no choice but to accept them. And don't tell me that youngsters who are on these things think it's the best way they could earn a living. They don't know any better. This is what they're told they're going to have if they're going to take a job in this country. And that too has to end. They are exploitative in their very essence. They are a hallmark of all that has gone wrong with job security in this country. And let me be clear, I will outlaw them. Not just exploitative zero hours contracts, I will get rid of them. We need minimum hours contracts. We need a guarantee and certainty about how many hours you've got and what you can expect to earn from those hours. That's the labour way. need for minimum hours contracts, not zero hours contracts. What would be the minimum? Just well, I think you just reverse it. You need to give people a contract which says, here's what you will be working. Not that you've got no hours, that we can offer you X hours, and it is for, well, it could be one, but I'm saying that it shouldn't be zero. Um, you know, let's be very clear about it. We should be inverting that uh, emphasis whereby there is not maximum flexibility placed upon the worker, but that the employer has to specify what people are going to work. Now, some people will want to work 16 hours at Tesco's or Sainsbury's or wherever, but they need to know that that's what they've got. How on earth can people expect to borrow, get a mortgage, buy a car, but they haven't a clue what they're going to be earning? It's just not good enough. It's got to end.